What's poppin' everybody? Blake Neiman here with you again. And at just 22 years old, Trey Young is establishing himself as one of those players you just do not want to play because of his ability to take the life out of both teams and their arenas. The postseason Ice Trey has fully embraced the role as the villain of the league, walking into opposing teams' arenas and making them his own with his coolness under pressure and attitude that no fan can help but acknowledge. Who would have even thought that the Hawks would even be in the Eastern Conference Finals, let alone come into Milwaukee and, Gian- and hand Giannis and the Bucks their first L at home this entire postseason. Not even the Brooklyn Nets could do that. Well, this is Ice Tray in typical Ice Tray fashion. Staying poised and managing to snag yet another game one on the road, their third this postseason. They come into three of the hardest places to play on the road in Madison Square Garden to start it off. Wells Fargo Arena in Philly, home of some of the most rowdy fans on the planet besides the Dallas Cowboys, of course. And then you come into Milwaukee, where not even Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets could manage to snag a win, and you drop a sensational 48 points highlighted by a shimmy-shake jumper in front of the entire Bucks defense. The disrespect. Oh my goodness. Not to mention he managed to exceed the assist mark, 10, uh, 10 assist mark yet once again with alley-oops and dimes to set up other Hawks for success. Some of those other Hawks with success were John Collins, who had 23 points and 15 rebounds, catching many of those ice tray lobs. Clint Capella was also huge with a game-high 19 rebounds to tack on to his 12 points he had already. The Bucks have been the leader this postseason in rebounds, but tonight the Hawks came with an aggressive mentality and it paid off as they out-rebounded the Bucks 58-50, which really made the difference in this very intense close game. By gosh, by golly, if you hadn't seen a Hawks game yet, well, this game told you the story of this group of scrappy sharpshooters playing with a load of heart, of confidence in themselves and their teammates. Just an incredible group of young men led by an incredible young man, the future villain and superstar of the league in Ice Trey Trey Young, dropping 48 points, tying LeBron for the youngest to do so in NBA history just an incredible performance by trey young snagging game one from the bucks and you can maybe see the atlanta hawks in the nba finals who would think that they still gotta win three more games but this is a great step in the right direction so hope you all enjoyed that take And more, I'm excited to cover the future of this league and these future superstars. Not just Trey Young, but also Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Devin Booker. All these young, DeAndre Ayton, all these young stars are showing themselves and proving to be worthy of contending in the playoffs. And they are going to be great to cover going forward into the future. But many of them, Devin Booker, uh, DeAndre Ayton, and uh, as I just mentioned, mentioned Ice Tray are all still in the playoffs, and many more young youngins like John Collins are all still in the playoffs, which is very key. And they're going to be to show their success and their first step in their superstarted careers. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you all you can catch it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your night.